You are welcome to another episode of Modular Arithmetic Tutorial. In this tutorial, we shall be talking about solving problems in Modular Arithmetic. Solving problems in Modular Arithmetic. Just that this has been expressed in an equation form. You try to solve it such that at a point you will be able to get something divisible. So in this context now, when you have 3x congruent to 6 mod 12, you can approach it in a simpler form. Method 1. The first method is 3x is congruent to 6 mod 12. We can write through by 3. But the division of the equation, or let's say the, the division of the, the congruence equation by 3 will not affect what is modulo. It will only affect this. So in that case, we have 3x over 3, congruent to 6 over 3, mod 12. This remains the same. So 3 comes to 3, we have x, congruent to 2, mod 12. So the interpretation of this result is that x is equal to 2. That is if I have 6, if I have 2 here now, that is 3 times 2 6. So 6 is congruent to 6, mod 12. Which really makes sense. Which really makes sense. So that is giving us a kind of impression that if 6 is divided by 12 and this 6 also divided by 12, we have the same result. So, and as we have it there, it doesn't mean that it, it will be only, it, it, it will be only x equals to 2. But before you be able to do this, you should be able to check whether the GCB of the coefficient of x and 12 whether the, the GCD of this value has something to do with what you have here. So in a nutshell, in order not to complicate the issue, our x is congruent to, uh, to 2 mod 6, meaning that 6 is congruent to 6 mod 2. Thanks for listening. Just like, share, subscribe, and like this video.